honor of our 7th point spider turning 3 years old, we're going to see how it's fared over the years and if it's still the perfect supercar. This car in the sun looks so good. Just parked up next to a Huracan Evo Spider, which is pretty funny. But this color in the sun just looks so good. I don't think the lines of this car have aged to death. Ever get tired of the doors? Three years in. The 720 was delivered in June of 2019. That means we're pretty much three years away, and it's actually going in for its third year service soon. So basically, three years. On the dot. The car has not aged a bit. I mean, the styling of this car is just... It, I'm in awe every time I look at this car. But everyone talks about the quality control issues. The panel gaps have not been touched on this car or anything since it was new. No issues, no quality issues. If you look, they're even on both sides. And they're completely fine. All these pictures of people showing cars getting delivered... I, I'm sorry, it's just, there's no way. It's just, on our 458, some things are like hanging. This car, it's not really fair because this car doesn't actually have a glove box. But the 458 panels are hanging from the glove box. The dead pedal on the left side, on the driver's side, is completely peeled off. And you think it's metal, but it must be some plastic covering for it. Everything is perfect on this car. The weather stripping is perfectly in place. The inside looks like it's brand new. The Alcantara is a little dirty. Just, I mean, just cleaner would help that. But everything is just in perfect condition. Again, held up much better than the 458. One thing on the 458 as well, which is very strange, inside here, where the panel gap's actually much worse than the Ferrari, but whatever, there's just chips everywhere. And it, it's, by the way, if you looks like a bad panel gap, the hood just opens the charge. That's how you leave it on the shield charger, so the alarm doesn't go off. But ev everything in here on the Ferrari is all chips, which is very strange. It's definitely a paint problem that they have. Um, it's a known thing, so. But everything on this car is perfect right now. So. I don't know what some people are talking about, but yeah, it's held up amazing after three years. This car is finished in McLaren's Elite Soros paint. It's a performance spec, so you get tier one carbon, you get it here, you get the mirrors, and this is the most important one, especially with the Soros, it contrasts so nicely. It makes the front of the car, I think, the nicest of any front end on any modern car. Everyone confuses the lights as being ugly. In person, they look so good. Old McLaren suffered from problems with condensation in the headlights after a few years. Not seeing any of that. Everything looks perfect on this. And yeah, I mean, just everything looks brand new on this car. And I don't think I can say about any car in here, except for, of course, the other McLaren. For the rest of the spec, this car has yellow calipers. It has the space rims. It has the base tires, because you don't want courses. <laughs> Cars being driven on the street and on the track. One of the most crucial things about the 720 and any supercar really is paint chips. You want to stay away from them. Most, car, most supercars get paint protection film, PPF, but with the 720 it's not as necessary because one thing that's really awesome and really smart about McLaren, I don't know anyone else who does this, I don't know how you guys can see that, but see that vent in there? That keeps all the rocks from accumulating going back here. So in here you get a lot of buildup with rocks, well little pebbles, but it doesn't scratch anything. It just stays in there. You clean it out every once in a while. It is an ingenious design that I wish Chevy had dropped on the C8 because I have some paint chips on my car. Overall, when you account for performance, how well this car rides better than any other supercar on the planet, looks, usability, trunk space even, just everything you could think of, and even interior design. Look at the inside of this car. I think this is the best overall supercar package you could buy, and I'm sure the 765 is that to the 1110. you guys want to see with the 720 and one thing I forgot to mention is how good the steering feel on this car is so much better than the Ferrari especially so much better than GT Porsches and oh my god is the speeds are dirty I'm gonna wash that right now one thing while editing I forgot to mention which I guess you should be back here for 
Uh, service costs. So people talk a lot about service costs with McLaren and a negative connotation. I will say that odd year services, so one, three, five, seven, and so on, those are a little under 2000 a year, which is an astronomical fee from a dealer. It'll be cheaper if you go with an independent shop. Uh, odds, I mean, sorry, even numbers, two, four, six, so on, those are a little more than 2000 a year. But if you think about it, the comparison to this car, the V10 Lambos, those will be a little more than that, to be honest. The V12 Lambo will be way more. Ferrari has seven years of free maintenance, so say, give or take 15,000 is the advantage you're getting. This is a much better than $15,000 better car than a Ferrari. Um, the warranty on McLaren's, I think Ferrari's as well, is unlimited miles, three years, so, I mean, yeah. But the maintenance costs are not gonna be astronomically crazy. I hear people say 25,000 years, what to expect. If you get the extended warranty, that is 4,500, 5,000 a year, but then they factor in 20,000 and something else. I don't even know. I saw a YouTuber post that a few years ago on a 650. That's just insane. I've spoken to a lot of owners of older McLarens and these, unless you have a 12C that's just constantly breaking, you're gonna have made of those issues. But I think we're opting to not go with the extended warranty and we'll see how that goes. But in the past three years, this car's been bulletproof. And that's the point of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you can. Have a great day.